so today in class this girl was like oh my gosh Jacqueline you cut your, you shaved your hair off like where'd you get the strength and honestly it wasn't strength it was exhaustion a slight mental break law school is taking everything including my <laughs> decided to use YouTube as like my own little personal diary just like documenting life surviving as a black woman in America getting through law school trying to like navigate this new this new chapter of my life dealing with like feeling like I don't belong imposter syndrome all that all that good stuff while also trying to like find a balance so that like I'm still like happy and enjoying life. Yeah, this lace is, she needs help, but we're, we'll get to that. But yeah, so this is just my little life update. I'm so weak at how my hair looks, but yeah, just a life update on what I've been doing, struggling through law school. Like I can't even believe that I'm halfway done, but I am, I'm halfway done. That's so crazy to even say out loud. I'm halfway done through law school. I just finished the second, the first semester of my second year. Um, my first year of law school did not go as I would have hoped. I really like talked myself out of the greatness I know I could have achieved. Um, but lately I've been doing my affirmations and just reminding myself like, God wouldn't put me here if he didn't think that I was capable. He would have given me all rejection letters. Like I wouldn't be in this position if he didn't know I was capable. And always telling myself like, when God says yes, who can say no? So like, regardless of if doors get shut in my face, if there's like spaces I enter where I feel like I don't belong, I still just have to like, remember like, I'm here for a reason. God put me here for a reason. I serve a greater God who's just, I just can get through all these things. So yeah, that's just where I'm at in life. Finding a balance. I feel like this year I've been, especially during the semester, I've been doing a really good job at balancing having a social life, um, enjoying the city that I'm in while also still putting in as much as I need to to succeed in law school. Because it does require a lot. Like law school is not like any other program. There's nothing that I could have done that could have better prepared me for this um so it's just about finding a good balance to make sure that i still have a life i still have things that bring me joy and happiness while also like thriving succeeding academically because that is also important to me also i had undiagnosed adhd i feel like i always knew i had adhd my mom also knew i had adhd we just never we just never really did anything about it um, because, I mean, we had other things going on in life, like that wasn't a top priority, but I realized like in law school, there's no way I could compete having this mental diagnosis and I can't thrive and like be at the best and compete with my peers when I'm like already kind of behind because of my diagnosis. So, yeah, so now I'm on Adderall. Um, I feel like I'm in such a better place in life because of it. Like, my brain finally feels normal. I finally feel like I can function. Um, yeah. I don't know how I got... It's honestly a miracle that I even got this far without my diagnosis. But again, when God says yes, who can say no? Soon... I will be able to say I have ADD, the first in my family, and that'll just be so rewarding. So I'm just pushing through, 
taking it one day at a time that's all you really can do you know Just take it one day at a time and trust in him talk to have daily talks with him like i talk to god constantly he's my best friend never leave me or forsake me you know so honestly strengthening my relationship with god has gotten me so far in this foundation is literally my summer shade so i look like i look like one of them people that do like black face but it's fine we'll, we'll trust the process that's what we're gonna do but yeah <clears throat> so what was I? Oh, that's not my ADHD. As you can see, <laughs> I feel like you can tell from like just listening to me talk that I definitely got something. I'm touched with something, Lord. But I feel so much like I feel like I'm a part of society and I'm a part of life now. With now that I'm, I've gotten my diagnosis, and now that like I'm taking the proper medication and doing the proper steps to um treat or not treat but just deal with what adhd is and now i know like in certain situations where i felt like awkward or uncomfortable or like i didn't belong like i now know why i felt that way because of my adhd so that has been very helpful I think like my social life also has gotten so much better now that I know that I have ADHD because like I can just understand like when I just need to not be around people I can understand like maybe why I don't relate to a lot of things <sighs> yeah and that's why like I've been making so many more friends I've been more social just like really thriving a lot more now that I know why my brain is functioning the way that it's functioning and like life has just been rosy okay so my makeup is pretty much done this lighting is making it look like it's not good but i promise my makeup is a bomb okay um how do i Ooh, can i just pull my hair back because i feel like this was given like it's my real hair so i think that's pretty cute i'm still trying to decide on a lip combo and i'm really putting on my makeup just to take pictures because i have not had time i haven't taken pictures in a few months because i've been so locked in during the summer and i've bought in so many cute clothes so i'm just pretty excited to like style put on an outfit get cute take some cute pics you know Sorry if you can hear my dog. He thinks he's a guard dog, even though he's only seven pounds. Like, I don't know who told him he's the guardian of the house. But that was another thing. I adopted, well, I didn't adopt him. I bought him during, like, towards the end of my first semester. And I don't think I realized how much attention a dog requires. He's so bad. Um, he acts just like me, and that's another problem. He acts like me, so he needs a lot of attention. He's very loud when he's at home. And he's he's like introverted when we're out in public, just like me, but when we're at home, we're our full selves. So that's why he's currently barking and being crazy. Like I made law school so much harder for myself by becoming a pet parent. And I knew nothing about becoming a pet parent. Like I had never owned a dog before. And usually like big responsibilities I'll push off onto my mom. But my mom is three hours away, so I can't. So that was another thing that made law school so much harder. But honestly, he brings me so much joy and happiness. I thought he would make me more responsible. Like, oh, we got to wake up early, go on his walks. But he sleeps in just like me. Um, he's just so much like me. He has a very specific diet where he does not eat dog food. I have to make him boiled chicken every week. And yeah, he's just the other half of me he's honestly helped my mental health a lot even though he's so bad he's also a part of like the balance the school to life balance so yeah i love being a dog mom i'm just feeling so blessed so many great things have happened just since 
I don't even know. Like, I went to a Burna Boy concert. I freaking love Burna Boy. That concert was amazing. I went with one of my closest friends. Like, she's literally a sister. And we finally got to catch up because, like, I've been so busy with law school. She's been busy with, like, life after college, finding her grounding and, like, finding her footing and stuff. So, that was great. Yay! Okay. Okay, you done? <laughs> with my peers we all said we want to stay in contact during the break i don't know if that's gonna happen we're gonna see and um yeah um i think i want to make a separate like i was going to talk about my romantic life and like dating and stuff like that and how i'm managing that with law school but i feel like that's a whole different video and i really gotta plan that out like what i want to talk about what I want to reveal about my life, my dating life, and my single, I don't know. So I'll make a separate video about that. And I think I kind of just want to keep my YouTube based on, because like doing the hair videos, like I got a lot of views on the Chebe videos and stuff. And that was fun to do, but like, I don't keep, like I was keeping up with the Chebe, but like, I don't want to keep filming about that. And I also was going to do like wig videos, but I don't want to do like, I made a TikTok on this wig if y'all want to go check that out, but I don't want to just do that. So I think just talking about my life, my law school life, my social life, how, how I'm managing to, like, find a balance, my journey to becoming a corporate baddie. Like, they just want to, like, document that. And I feel like if I speak it into existence, if I'm showing y'all, like, this is the road that I'm taking, this is what I want to do. And I'm talking to God, having these conversations, making sure that he's saying yes, like this is what he has planned for me. Then like, yeah, there shouldn't be any problem with me making videos just about like my law school life and my law school journey. So yeah, I might start making TikToks about that as well. But it's like, I don't want my classmates, like, I don't know, it's weird. I don't want them to know about like what I do outside of, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to see them every day and then they see like, oh, I'm posting me going to class or what i'm doing to prepare for class like i don't want y'all to know my business like that like we see each other every single day but that's things i gotta figure out and yeah think, get down get down see he he bring he lets me have no peace kigali elijah jean pierre Get down. He didn't listen. He's still up there. But yeah, I think that's all I have. Um, I'll probably insert some clips about like my life, what I've been doing, things like that. Okay, YouTube. So this is her niece. Um, I got both my nose piercings. I got these two piercings. And I'm about to get my belly. I'm a little nervous on the belly. Because he said he got to go in and then go back out. But I think I'm going to take it. But she's going first. Are you nervous? No. Oh, she said she's a G. <laughs> oh, and the plug, the piercer. Hold on. If you're in the B VA area, this is his Instagram. I don't know if you can see it or not. You do piercings, tattoos, nails, hair. What else you do? You do piercings, tattoos. Piercings, tattoos, nails, braids, microblading, mm -hmm. and wax. Mm -hmm. You do everything, y'all. So go ahead, plug in with him, tap in, tap in. Mm, 
Like, now is not the time. No, she said, no. No, she was like, no. Oh, Jesus. Yoga? Oh, that's so cute! Thank you! I love it! So worked a little bit of pain, huh? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. It's so cute! Ooh. Ooh. Outside of that, that's all I wanted to say. So, ooh, I'm gonna show y'all my fit too. Cause I feel like my fit just says, ooh, I need to put in my nose ring. I'm gonna do that next but the fit the fit's giving so 